and journalists from the northeastern states of Nigeria have been trained on reporting climate change and its harmful effect on the society. The training which took place in Yola was at the instance of the Dangote Group. The manager, media relations of the group, Jibreen Abubakar, while highlighting the significance of the training, said it was a move to equip journalists with the knowledge of climate change reporting to ensure friendly and sustainable environmental practices. Abubakar noted that the company decided to partner to partner the media to promote sustainable environmental practices for the good of all. In his presentation, a senior lecturer, Department of English, Modibo in Adamawa University, Yola, Professor John Ngamsa, urged journalists to invest in environmental journalism with all seriousness because the environment is man's only protective enclave. The counting from the flood that ravaged Adamawa is around 33 people. The fertility has reached 33 people, just in Adamawa State. It was in the news. This is sad. It is sad, it is more sad because we are still treating the issue of climate change with levity. Today, we shall be hearing from the resource person how can we as a people address the issue of climate change? As we all know, the climate itself is changing. Uh, climate is uh, affecting so many things. A lot of uh, impact is being felt uh, across Nigeria and around the world. So we felt it is important for journalists who are reporting uh, climate to uh, understand the challenges and the opportunities that are there for them uh, in this uh, space. Something for everybody in the whole world to be up and doing to understand the terms of what is happening to the environment, particularly nature. As it stands today, it is a clear rating that 99% of the air we take is no longer pure. It's only 1% that is good enough. And if it is good enough, you need only secured environments you know, with uh, natural things that are endowed, particularly trees, plants and flowers, and good water and clean water to have the 1% that is left. So it's an existential issue, you know, where whether we like it or not, we have to take it and we have to live by it and ensure that we get it right. It is uh, both government and the journalists how to now sensitize others to know that if we disobey environmental laws, the effect is not going to be on the government alone. It's going to be on all of us. Uh, it is a devastating effect. So nobody will want to really do certain small, small things, uh, dumping or refuse anywhere, blocking waters, cutting down trees indiscriminately, and all of these uh, things that we, the effect that will come will consume us and our generation. So there is need to really uh, take caution uh, without waiting for government to even enforce it, then it will make everything easier. Environmental awareness is uh, everybody's business, but the journalists in particular bear the burden of creating this awareness. We will all agree that uh, the climate change due to unwholesome activities on our environment is affecting virtually all of us. It's affecting animals, it's affecting our habitat, it's affecting our health, it's affecting everything. So um, this, no event could be more timely than this one.